the Green Hell. That was the nickname that Jackie Stewart, the Scottish racing driver, gave this place. The Nordschleife, the Nürburgring Nordschleife, is an unforgiving, undulating track over 73 corners and over 20 kilometers that is very hard to learn and still to this day challenges many people. And talking of challenges, that's exactly what Volkswagen have come here to do. Today they're testing to see if they can beat the outright electric record in this, the car that smashed Pikes Peak at the end of 2018, the IDR. Nordschleife is, is really a, uh, has a very high reputation for car, for race cars. Yeah. yeah and this is the it's reason notorious. why we are here. Yes. The track itself is very challenging because it has a, a high variety of uh, speed, of cornering speed. Also, battery management is a big challenge because there's a last part of the track, which is uh, the high speed part. The last bit. The last bit, yeah. Uh, Döttinger Höhe because it takes a lot of energy, so we have to have enough power and energy available for this part. It's a 500 kilowatt motor. What's the size of the, the battery pack? So we have more than uh, 40 kilowatt hours, yeah. and the charging time is 20 minutes, but then it's also, you have to balance the battery, we have to bring it to the right temperature, so it will take uh, more than 20 minutes just to be ready for going out again. Presumably Roma has to recharge himself because Mentally, it's an extremely challenging course, isn't it? With Roma, we have a very, very good driver who knows the Nürburgring very well. I couldn't believe Pikes Peak. Yeah. Could not believe the pace of that car. Yeah. I don't think many Americans could either. But. <laughs> well, I know the track 100%, you know. We, I'm driving here for more than 10 years, so for sure I know the place. But at the end of the day, uh, more laps you do, better you learn, more yeah. quicker you are. OK, Roman's just been bolted in and strapped down. The tyre warmers will be coming off in a second. Of course, with Roman, they have a great driver here. He has lots of experience in Nürburgring, which is great. And I think uh, they will be, they'll be doing it. But it needs some adjustments, definitely. So I'm sat here on the feeder lane, which takes you onto the Nordschleife just here. So he'll come out any second. It's weird because you realise it's so close to the public road. And the Nordschleife here is actually not classed as a racetrack. It's originally classed as a toll road. Just ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing uh, uh, like Nürburgring in the world, you know. It's like the uh, Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's unique, you know. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, normally uh, can hear a lot of uh, noise, a lot of uh, when you jump and land. You know, you always have some uh, noise inside the car and so on. Now it's very smooth, very quiet. It is quite surprising, so you also have to adapt the speed, you know, to your view, to your vision. But it's, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. How does it feel driving an EV on the ring compared to a piston car? Because as soon as you apply throttle, you have a lot of power. So for that, you arrive a lot faster on the next corner yeah. compared to what I'm used to with a GT car here. Due to that, you have to readapt a little bit your driving style. You have a lot more downforce, bigger tires. Yeah. So compare a GT car that you go, you can go on a curb, you can take all the curbs. On this car, not, you know. Okay. You have to avoid the curbs. Because of the ground clearance? Yeah, for sure. How much faster is this than a GT car? I don't know, we see. Hopefully a little <laughs> bit to break the electric record. Yeah. And is the idea to get the outright electric record or go for the full record? Because no, 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 there's a bit a, of a difference, isn't there? It's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. The lap time is, uh, is really outstanding. Uh, our target is the electric record. So the IDR is now back from its final test session for today. The next time you see that car at this track, it'll be the day that they try for the world record. Monday the 3rd of June and a very, very warm morning here at the Nürburgring. It's t-shirt weather and yet the weather forecast is looking terrible. There's thunder and lightning due. The IDR is being prepped as we speak to get it out on track as quickly as possible to capitalise on the weather conditions. Roman Dumas flew in from Le Mans where he was testing last night. So hopefully a world record for that electric car can be set today without the use, of course, of any of that. A lot of pressure on one guy, one car. Crumbs. There he goes on his shakedown. 
I think the helicopter's going to be hard pushed to keep up. Bearing in mind, he was supposed to be doing just a shakedown. And bearing in mind back in May 2017, the NEO EP9 electric car set the record of six minutes, 45 seconds. We've just seen that. Six minutes, 25 seconds. So already 20 seconds quicker than the current world record. This is the first run of the day, run number one. Who knows what's gonna happen in the next couple of hours. If the weather holds up and the car stays consistent, this is some low numbers. We need to bring the battery a little bit on, uh, into temperature. And now, of course, when the car comes back, we have to cool it down and then we start the process again. What, what top speed are you going to expect from...? Ah, here we will do about 250 to 60 top speed. Really? Yeah. OK. They haven't really timed it up as much as they want to, apparently, yet. And the conditions are still brilliant. The chopper's up. Is it going to go better than 625? going to appear on it. 6.12? 6.12? Clearly the VW team are really happy. Roman's come in, round of applause, 6 minutes 12 seconds, run number two. The IDR is sitting there, cooling down, being charged up and checked, ready for the next run. He went out on the first run and smashed the record straight away on his shakedown. We learn, you know, each, each lap we are le learning a little bit more. Yeah. Now in terms of aero balance, we found something very good. I enjoy a lot the car now. You, you enjoy it now? You weren't enjoying it so much before? Yeah, but, ah, it was okay, but now I have to say it was the first lap that I could really, really push and I can feel that I start to be on the limit. So for sure, uh, we not gain so much time anymore, but it was <laughs> a lot of fun. The battery management, the temperature management steps in now and yeah. uh, try to have the, the best out of it over the whole distance because you I mean you can be very good at six kilometers but at nine you have to shut everything off because it's too hot just outright drag straight it's quite hard work for this car especially when it's warm weather and and, and roma has to really bear that in mind the more you relax the are the more you have confidence in the car the faster your lap times so flow flow the flow is it strange for you not competing against another car? No, you know, in North Life you are dreaming to drive alone, you know, and to enjoy the track. Okay. You know, when you are doing the races here, you're always frustrating to get traffic and to pass slower car. Yeah. So to be alone, it's uh, just magic. This is good. This is not good. This Even... is incredibly good. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. If you're going to keep pushing today? Yes, yeah, we'll try one more, one more time, I think. One more? Yeah, for sure, you know, but we are here. Beautiful day, it nice is. cars, so we have to try, you know. Yeah. <laughs> One thing is important of this track, never lose the respect. If you lose respect, it's going to hurt, that's for sure, you know. <laughs> He's just done the last lap. So he started off today with a 6.25, then he went down to a 6.12, then he went down to a 6.09, he's just done a 6.05. So absolutely destroyed the, the record by 40 seconds for outright electric fastest lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Well, very proud. I mean, what the team has done again in this uh, nine months to prepare the car, only with two days here, at one and a half day testing at the Nürburgring, I think is a fantastic performance today. And at 6.05, I think everybody can be really proud of itself. <laughs>